Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Indigar. This is a new indie horror game demo. Found it on Itch.io, plus a lot of my friends played it, so Aww, I, wish I, figured, would help me. I figured I'd check it out. Um, I think it's about a woman looking for Aww, her missing daughter or something. Ah, I wish someone would help me. Who are you? I'm NPC John. NPC John. Really? No thanks. Hilarious. Fine, fine. Can I help you? You see, this website used to be full of new horror games. But lately, there haven't been that many, and I'm looking for a new one. Do you think that you could help me out? Yeah. I'm playing one right now. See? Accept quest! Great! Come back when you finish your task. Alright. Julia, your daughter is kidnapped in the apartment building La Haciendo. Come if you want to save her, but I warn you, if you show up with someone else, or you talk to the police, I will kill her. I see you in that place in an hour. Alright, let's do this. Let's look for our missing daughter. Is there any sound in this game? It's too dark. I should find a way to turn on the lights. There it is. Time is on my side. She's dead. So I'm noticing that there's no cursor lock, meaning I have dual monitors and uh, the cursor's moving outside on the second screen instead of being locked on one monitor. And I noticed that the developer commented on this on the game page. Um, it's one line of code to do this in Unity. It's literally one line of code. I have it on a t-shirt actually, if you want to check my merch store in the description. It's one line, you just put it in your game, you have cursor lock, instantly. This place will eat you. What happened to time being on your side? Was that a jump scare? Did something hit the door or? Oh, no, this fell down. Oh, cool. Three medals. What, did we acquire them? That sounded like the item pickup sound. Oh. <laughs> Friday nights, am I right? Uh, wild. We get a little crazy when we go partying. Oh. Sugar the rabbit. This toy belongs to my daughter. She must be here. Hmm. How... How is the stuffed animal posed that way? Seems like it would be hard to get them to stand up. Use some common sense, Julia. More's going on than you think. Okay. Do I flip this? Cool. Turned on the power, I'm guessing? Yeah. What now? Sugar's still here. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, did somebody flush the legs? Did the legs just get flushed? <laughs> Please tell me they did. Was it over here? They did. <laughs> oh. I think that's supposed to be scary, but oh man. Let's go upstairs. Guns. Six guns and six guns, 207, or something like that, who knows. That's a badass gang name, six guns. Hopefully there's only six people in it. Otherwise, one of them is unarmed, at least. Hmm, this building is alive. Oh, is it? This is like a really heavy-handed version of anatomy. The building's alive. The building's gonna eat me. But you're gonna tell me that instead of showing it to me. Honey, I went to repair the hole in the wall of the guy from apartment number one. He hides the hole with a bookcase that falls so easily. We already went there. That man is so weird. He stole three medals from a neighbor and kept them in his bedroom. 
Honey, I want to move. I'm sick of this place. It is full of crazy people. Why only people like that live in this building? Yeah, we've already done all that. But thanks, just in case we missed it. We know to go back and get the three medals. How do you know about the three medals that they keep in their, like, nightstand? That's kind of a, a snoopy thing to know. I came a few hours ago. TMI. But your wife was not at home, so I entered by force. I took your medals. I will not return them to you until you pay me my money. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Well, I got the three medals here. Choose the order of the medals. Silver medal, bronze medal, fourth place medal, which I don't think exists. I've never seen a fourth place medal. Samuel, I'm tired of your offenses and humiliations. I love you, and I always will, but I can't be with you anymore. I know these medals make you feel horrible, but I don't understand why you got so upset when I put them in the medals holder. You were a fourth place. You were a second place. You were a third place. Never the first. You were never the best at something. You were not even a good husband. I guess the order we're supposed to put them is four, two, three. <laughs> okay. What would fourth place medals even be? Can't be platinum. That's better than gold. What? Would... A copper? A copper medal? Yeah. Apply. Is that what we did? We did four. Yeah. My wife left me this morning and my tennis career is over. The Silent Hill Siren? This is literally a Silent Hill ass transformation right here. You know where you are? You in Silent Hill. The walls come alive in Silent Hill, apparently. Let's finish reading this note. My tennis career is over. My neighbor has taken my medals. But it does not matter. These second, third, and fourth place medals just remind me how mediocre and useless I am. Nah. I am sure that nobody is better than me. I am the most talented. I am the best. How could someone who never won a gold medal think that? What? I'm sorry, what? What was that? That's not the end of the demo, is it? Was that avoidable? That had to have been avoidable. Wake up. Wake up, it will come back. It wants to torture you. You have to hurry. You only have a few minutes before it returns. Find a silver amulet before time runs out. Was there a timer at the top? I wasn't even looking because I was too busy reading notes and stuff. When you find it, that thing will not come for you anymore. Okay. Find a silver amulet. Who are you? Your voice seems familiar. Are you my daughter? There is no time for that. Find the silver amulet before time runs out. It has to be in one of the apartments. Okay. So, not the silver medal that we just got, right? 2.30? Has to be in one of the apartments. Okay. No, I got this. Oh, uh, why can't you sprint in this game? Silver amulet. I wonder if it's in the toilet. That'd be funny. It's not behind there, is it? In one of the apartments. Sugar's gone, guys! Sugar the rabbit has disappeared! Okay, it's not in any of these down here. So we gotta go upstairs and we don't have much time. Time is on my side, my ass. <laughs> Come on. Is it down here? Is it... Is it in one of the lockers? Silver amulet. Why can't we open these? Oh, come on. Has to be in one of the apartments. So, that means I don't have to look... Um, through the hallways. I mean, it's not in there. It's not in four. Four doesn't open. 
This building is alive. Is it in this? We can't open it. 45 seconds. Uh... Is in this one? I haven't looked in here. There's a CD on the floor. Silver amulet. Is that it? That's a speaker logo. Oh no. So it's not in here, right? I went into all the apartments and I didn't see it. I do not know. Where is it? You'd think it would be like in here. I do not know where it is. Oh, there he is. Oh, I think that thing's funny looking. I like it. He's like pyramid hands. That's what I'm gonna call him. Pyramid hands. All right, I'll take one last crack at it. <laughs> you almost find it. <laughs> so, why would pyramid hands care if I find this silver amulet or not? I don't understand why that would thwart him in any way. Ah, you found my weakness. The silver amulet. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe I've just walked past it a bunch of times. I don't know. I've only been looking in the apartments. Like, it would make sense for me it would make sense to me if it was on the chair, but it's not. There's a bunch of chairs and a bunch of tables that it would make sense to be on, but it's not on any of them. I'm guessing it's random, like it randomly spawns. Or like, in the toilet would be good too. In the sink. But I can't find, I can't find it anywhere. The room it makes. What? Is that a chainsaw? The room it makes most sense to me for it to be in is this one. Wait, the rabbit can kill you too? The rabbit can kill you too. I guess the rabbit has a chainsaw? I don't know. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, it's here this time. This is the silver amulet. Now what? I don't know, dude. Go to the entrance. I guess this is a really powerful amulet. Oh! Hi, sugar. Sounds like an affection nickname. Sounds like I'm the rabbit's grandma or something. Hi, sugar. So you want your daughter. She belongs to me now. You are so miserable. You deserves, or she deserves a better mom. You will have to kill me to take her away from me. But I warn you. I'm not easy to kill. I think you're a stuffed rabbit, so pretty much anything could kill you.
Hello? Oh no, is there supposed to be another level loading? Nope, it's the credits! Oh, well, well, that was Indigar. Uh... I don't like random spawn item hunts, usually. They have to be done in a specific way for me to like them. I don't think it was done very well here. Uh... I mean, the translation's bad. I'm tired of whining about that stuff. Beyond that, like, Sugar the Rabbit, I get what they're going for with that. It's a very... It's too Silent Hill. I think the combination of the stuffed rabbit, a la Silent Hill 3, the siren, the world transformation, complete with the walls turning into this rust-colored viscera thing, as well as pyramid hands, I think it's a little too inspired by Silent Hill. It, it's too inspired by Silent Hill visually, and not inspired enough by it conceptually. The reason why the Silent Hill games are so popular and beloved isn't because of how they look. Because most of them don't look very good by today's standards. Some of them have very good monster design. Uh, but what, what's great about them is that they're psychologically, conceptually horror, right? This, it strikes me as Baby's first Silent Hill inspired game attempt, and I just see no reason for it. It it doesn't do anything particularly interesting or different. The story is very milk toast. I mean, we're a mom looking for her daughter. It's a story that could be swapped out with like 90% of other horror games, and it would have been the same experience. Basically, just a big fat meh. I think. Probably the best thing the game has going for it is Sugar the Rabbit, but they didn't do much with it. It was just, it was on the chair with a sign that said Sugar the Rabbit, and then it disappeared later. Spooky. And then apparently it comes after you with a chainsaw during the time segment, and at the end we see it down a dark hallway, which would have been an okay moment were it not the very instant that the demo ends. So, I don't know, those are my thoughts on Indigar. Mm. I'd be surprised if we saw a full version of this game. I've played a lot of demos over the year, and the funny thing about them is often they don't get blown out into full games, and I, I think this is probably one of them. The idea that we'll see like a $2.99 or $4.99 version of this on Steam is very low, I think, judging by what I've seen in the demo. There's just not enough originality or passion, I think, to fuel this project into a, a full experience. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Indigar. Hope you enjoyed. I have one last thing to take care of, if you don't mind. Sorry about this. All right, I completed your quest. Wow, you actually did it. Don't sound so surprised. It's not that impressive. Will you please leave me alone now? One last thing. One of my dogs has gone missing. I don't know where it went. I need you to find it and bring it back here. Then you'll get your reward. No. I really hate this new character. Okay, well, let me know your thoughts on Indigar in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.